Hello, welcome to episode number 412 of the TW 2020 Challenge Run. This is going to be ECW for week 2 of September 2023. And yeah, this week's show is kind of stacked. We've got the return of the big dog, the tribal chief, Roman Reigns. We've got Jey Uso in the main event taking on Warden. We've also got the start of the ECW Tag Team Championship Tournament, which actually kicks off the show tonight. It's going to be... Um, the Fritz brothers taking on Mustafa Ali and Cedric Alexander, and how long more? Without any more further ado, let's jump straight into tonight's show. Eighty-nine rated opening match. Let's fucking go. Um, it's the Paragons, David and Kevin Fritz, taking on Mustafa Ali and Cedric Alexander in the first round of the ECW Tag Team Championship Tournament here in Charleston, West Virginia. And the team advancing and moving on is Ali and Cedric, heart and soul, you could call them. I, I'm still harping on with that nick that name, because I believe they themselves still call themselves it, so yeah. And Ali pins David Fritz for the 054. And yeah, 89 rated match between these two teams is really fucking good. Um, 83 for Kevin Fritz, 82 for David Fritz, 78 for Cedric, and 83 for Mustafa Ali. Which means they now advance... And they will face the winners of next week's match, which is the Usos taking on Ichiban's Shinsuke Nakamura and Minoru Suzuki. So yeah, you know. That match is a couple of weeks away though, because we only do one of these a week, because ECW is only two hours long. We then get a pre-tape from the big X himself, Zion Quinn. And he goes, since SummerSlam, you know, ECW's got a whole new range and new faces around here. But none of them have got that that charm. None of them have got that pure man masculine alpha energy quite like the Big X. Okay? They've got women all over the show. They, they can't do what the Big X can do. You've got people like Dolph Ziggler walking around as the ECW champion. He can't do what the Big X can do. So, next week, ECW, get ready because the Big X your favourite wrestler and your inspiration makes his return to the show. Get ready for that one. Oh boy. The big X, Sion Quinn, making his way across to ECW next week. That should be a hoot. And then cut from that to Dolph Ziggler backstage in the um, press box with Mackenzie Mitchell. He says, last week, Dolph, you made your first defense of that ECW championship you took on Adam Cole. And, you know, big, big victory. And now the era of Dolph Ziggler on ECW is officially underway. You know, do you know, Mackenzie, you know, I've been fighting so long. I, mean, I know a lot of people look at this and go, Dolph, it's only the ECW championship. But that right there is the problem. Okay, Mackenzie, I spent a decade here trying to get back to the top of this damn company after I was held down for so damn long. Okay? I had title opportunity after title opportunity after title opportunity, and I failed every single time until this finally made its way to my hands and you can look at this as just the ecw championship but it's my honor and my duty to make this the most important damn championship in the entire wwe you know this show was built to be on par with raw and smackdown and part of me making sure ecw gets to that level is on me so next week I hear that Julia is defending that ECW Women's Championship against Sonya Deville. Two of my old running mates. You know, all three of us have seen the light now. Purple doesn't look good on any of us anyway, let's be real, Mackenzie. But, if she's defending her championship next week, so am I. So this is an open challenge to anybody back there. I'll see you next week and come and hang on DZ's level if you dare. 75, okay, that's actually apparently lower than it should have been based on their in-ring performances. But, you know, psychology's a, a woof here. Cora Jade against Scarlet. Um, Cora last week, you know, put her name out there. She's back on here on ECW. Fresh new start. No no Bailey, no Dakota. Just here by herself. It's just her oos, you could say. <laughs> and she fights Scarlet. She beats Scarlet. Double underhook DDT in 10-18. 76 for... Cora Jade and a 79 for Scarlet. And after that, she grabs the mic and she goes, Why did I tell you? You know, last week I'm like 
break breakout star, breakout star of the year. Okay, I'm yeah, the youngest one on this roster, but already I'm the top. Okay, I am the new school. I am the new face of extreme here. You can poke your Scarlet, Sonya, and Julia, and even Liv and Hikaru Shida. Okay, because none of those are any, are anything compared to me. Okay, and I just proved it. You call this the new era of ECW, I call it the Generation of Jade. Out come Shida and Liv, who obviously disagree. She, and she literally name-dropped them just now. And there's two of them, one of Cora, so she actually is kind of smart and backs away and goes, I'm not scared of you, but I, we, need to, we need to level this up, okay? I'm not fighting two on one, okay? I'm not an idiot. So yeah, Shida and Liv chasing off Cora. Speaking of women's feuds here on ECW, we came from Blair Davenport. She goes, I was handpicked by Paul Heyman. You know, before, when this ECW thing first started, he came to me and said, Blair, you're the exact sort of international flavor we need in this ECW women's division. But do I get the chance to be the champion? Do I bollocks? And it's not my fault. My 100% unbeaten record that I held on ECW that should have got me the chance opportunity was torn away from me, ripped away by a jealous idiot called Shotzi. Because I said that she's a bit of a weirdo and she comes out in her tank and now she's got the spiked hair. What else am I supposed to think? Okay. So, Shots, you got, you got away with that one last week. Bravo, you got one up on me. But if you dare show your weird little face around here again on my show... It'll be the last time you do so. Eighty nine. I knew this would be a banger. I was really, I was really, really, really tempted to make this a technical masterclass because Zack Saber Jr.'s technical stat is a ninety six, and Dudley's like a seventy eight. So um, I knew that it would be good, but I was terrified that I would set it up wrong and it would tank the match. So I just set it to be all out. And yeah, it's a submission victory for Zack Sabre Jr. And he wins with the, um, <laughs> hurrah, another year. Surely this one will be better than the last. The explorable march of progress will lead us all to happiness. The full name of the move. Like, I, I, I don't know what you want me to say. That's the full name of the move. It's not quite the Barry from EastEnders, but it, it's, it, it'll do. Um, 94 for Dudley, 90 for Zack Sabre Jr., and yes, he picks up his first win here on ECW. A fire new Tekkers logo as well, if I do this to myself. We then see a pre-tape from Buddy Matthews. Murphy, sorry. <laughs> Buddy Buddy Murphy, I should say. Because last week, you know, Wesley stepped up and he gave me a run of a life, but we saw the rejuvenation of Buddy Bloody Murphy. Buddy Buddy Murphy, I embody ECW spirit, you know. I'm former WWE champion when nobody ever thought I'd get to that level. I've been e I've been tag team champion. You name it, I've done it. And next is to conquer ECW. Because this show is my bloody show and nobody can stop the rise of Buddy Bloody Murphy. 80. Uh, that's pretty, pretty good, yeah. Mako, or not out, Mako Owie even. Did all the carrying, it looks like. And yeah. Um, this has tag team champion implications because we saw um Tatum and Ivy qualify for the Unforgiven four way on Raw. And this is for um ECW spot. And it is Aoi Mikawa and Mako Sadamura who win. Um Aoi pins GG Dolan with the Crash Rabbit Heat. Uh, Mako's got an adequate new gimmick, which I think is better than the awful one she did have, so that's but that's good. Um, 57 for Mako, 82 for Aoi, 60 for JC, and a 70 for GG. And yeah, so Aoi, Makao, and Mako Satomura of Ichiban join Tim Paxi and Ivy Nile in that match with Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross at Unforgiven, with the final spot going to either DKE or um, Nightlight, whoever wins on SmackDown. We then see a quick hype video, you know, AEW style hype video. Basically, basically, if you ever want to wonder, like, how oh, how would Connell book Dynamite if he did an AEW save? How like how I book ECW basically. Um, other than the Dolph Ziggler backstage interview, the rest of these are basically all been pre tapes, and yeah, and and, and the Cora in ring promo of course. After them. 
But yeah, it's just like showing the history of Julia and Sonya hyping up their title match for next week, which will main event ECW, Julia's first title defense against Sonya Deville. Two former grand jury members duking it out in the main event. For the, if I had a nickel for every time two full members of the grand jury faced off for a world title on ECW, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but you know, pretty weird it happened twice if you consider, you know, Damian Priest against Dolph Ziggler. Speaking of next week, as we just saw, we will have that match coming up next week. It will be Julia making her first defense of the ECW Women's Championship as she defends against Sonya Deville. And on top of that, Dolph Ziggler earlier on tonight said that his title will be on the line. He will issue an open challenge to anybody on ECW who thinks they've got what it takes to be the ECW World Champion. He said it's partly on his responsibility to make that championship mean something. And he's going to take that next step next week in an open challenge. And the ECW World Tag Team Championship match tournament continues as Jay and Jimmy the Usos take on Ichiban's Minoru Suzuki and Shinsuke Nakamura. And, now announced, the grudge feud between Shotzi Blackheart and Blair Davenport will come to a head next week as the two of them go one on one. And we'll see Joe Hendry in action, and he's promised a special treat for the ECW television champion, Matt Cardona. Before the main event, we quickly see Gigi and JC backstage, and they're sort of arguing. So go, what, what? Because Mandy, Mandy got taken away from us. Okay, Mandy's on Raw, and okay, it's up to us to lead the toxic attraction name to, to greatness here on ECW. I mean, sure, sure, it's kind of bull crap that Mandy got separated from us, but you, we got to deal with the hands we've dealt, Gigi. And you taking that loss out there—that's not the toxic attraction way. Okay, Gigi goes, look, okay, yeah, I, 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 I fucked up, my bad, but you know. It's not worth arguing about. It's not worth breaking up this team about. Because, you know, there's always next time. And we need to let let it be known that Mandy Rose wasn't propping us up. Tarts of Contraction were propping her up. Okay? And JC goes, yeah, sure, but, you know, frustrations and all that. That, that, those, that tag team title shot should be ours. Out come the bloodline. Roman gets into the ring of the Usos and Heyman with him. He goes, Charleston, West Virginia. Acknowledge me. Now, you know, it's been a, a whole lot, 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 of, lot of times passed since, you know, the Tribal Chief came out here to ECW. His show, my show, the show I'm the head of, the reason this show exists is because of me. And, well, you could say because of Jay, because Jay cost us that match at Judgment Day, we should have still been on SmackDown if it wasn't for Jay not pulling his weight, but I digress. Because we're here now. And I see Warden, a man that I had issues with, a man I beat back at SummerSlam to prove I am top here on ECW, to prove this is my show. He's still trying to pick it up with the bloodline. Okay, and Jay has a chance to redeem himself. Jay's going to face him in the main event. And Jay, I need y'all to beat that bum. Teach that bum that he's messing with the wrong bloodline. But, next week I hear, you two, you got your tag team championship tournament match. You're taking on Shinsuke Nakamura and that Minoru Suzuki. And what I say is, I don't want y'all to let me down. I want y'all to smash Warden tonight. I want y'all to smash Nakamura. I want you to smash Suzuki. Because this is the Bloodline show. Don't let anybody forget it. Because there will be repercussions, Jay. As you know. If people aren't pulling their weight. And only the tribal chief decides who is pulling their weight. Not the wise man. Not Jimmy. And certainly not you. So good luck tonight. Good luck next week. I sincerely hope you can get it done. 
Then Roman goes to leave, Jim, Jimmy and Heyman leave with him. Jay's still in the ring because his match is up next. When Warden's music hits and he comes out, and we get the Warden and Roman Reigns stare down on the ramp. And Warden's like, Balfour goes, you better watch this because once I beat your cousin, you're next, okay? We're not done here. This doesn't end until your ass is down on the mat. Then our main event gets a 90. Warden does defeat Jey Uso by pinfall of a Splash Mountain Powerbomb in 1753. This didn't actually get dinged for psychology, which I thought it would, but hey, that's nice. 87 for Jay, 77 for Warden, 90 for the match, which is really good. Warden has a gimmick that's getting stale. I'll probably tweak him after the show. But yes, Warden does stand tall to NBCW. 90 rated show. These shows just fly by. They are probably my favourite show to book right now because... As much as I do like booking Raw and SmackDown because I've got a lot of interesting things going on that I'm looking forward to advancing, just how quick I can just get ECW done is is really fun. I really like it. But that doesn't really matter. What matters more is whether you enjoyed the show. So do let me know before in the comments below, and I'll see you next time for episode 413, which will be SmackDown featuring... No, it won't be just SmackDown. It'll be SmackDown Payback, the special TV special featuring Ilya Dragunov... No, not Ilya Dragunov. Fucking hell. Montez Ford versus Carmelo Hayes. I've got real life on the brain. Okay. <laughs> Featuring Carmelo Hayes versus Montez Ford for the World Heavyweight Championship. See you then.